Uh, so Luke, obviously stand here, new season, just a couple of days away now. Um, and it's, it's the kind of the excitement for every player up and down the country, isn't it? Yeah, All just raring to go. Yeah, new season on Saturday, obviously we're all buzzing to get pre-season done, start the season. Obviously it hasn't been the greatest results, but performance-wise we've been alright and we're just looking to go for a new season now. In terms of the opposition, obviously Barrow on Saturday beat Dagenham twice last year. We're up and kind of in, in contention for the playoffs into the final weeks as well. So they're going to be a certain opposition in the opening, opening day, sorry. Yeah, they are. We've looked at how they're going to play and all that. We're going to just play our game, stick to what we do, and try and play to our strengths. We're at home, we've got the advantage, so play. You said they're about results in pre-season not being ideal, but of course you kind of just put that to one side. Yeah. It's about the performances. Do you think they've set you up well for the new term? Yeah, I think it's all about getting minutes under your belt during pre-season. Like, everyone's just trying to get back into the flow, get match fitness back again. The results we, we don't really look into too much as long as the boys are like feeling fresh, ready and sharp to go. Of course for yourself as well, um, yeah, looking forward to the new season. It must be great for you after the kind of you know, season that you had last year. Spent so much of it on the sidelines. How kind of frustrating was that past year? You know, is it the most frustrating that you've had in career so far? Yeah, definitely. I've never suffered, like, uh, I've never missed a game through injury in my whole career. So to miss out basically a whole season out through this injury was, it was like mentally very tough for me. Just sat there watching the boys go, like knowing you can't do anything or contribute to anything literally at all because I couldn't. Um, so yeah, Ravens go this season, buzzer free. Obviously, yourself, you're quite young as a player, but were there still any you know, kind of doubts last year when you were on the sidelines that you kind of thought, yeah, this could be it, I might not come back from this? No, I think mentally I was prepared for what I was going to like, face. I'd spoken to people and I knew in myself like, I could get through this. Like, I'm quite strong, tough mentally, so I knew what I had to do and I was just going to work and get it back as quickly as I, poss- as I possibly could, which I did. But again, Gaffer didn't really want to risk it, so... It's all down to statistics, he says, like, if you come back too soon, you'll redo it kind of thing, which I respect, because obviously you didn't risk it, and now I'm fit and ready to go. And over the summer as well, obviously, signing a new contract with the club, yeah, it's a great kind of show of faith from John after the year that you had, you know, with the injuries that he obviously still believes in you. Yeah, exactly. That's, I was happy that he offered me, like, the extension of my contract, a new contract, like, um, which, again, it does show that he like, has faith in my ability and everything, and gave me a chance. And obviously, looking forward now to the new season. You've come back in when you first joined Dagenham. You played, I think, most of the centre back, yeah. and obviously come back in at left back. Are you comfortable cool. more in that position? Yeah, I'm, like, I played left back at Dunstable Town when I, where Gaffer got me from. Like, I, I played a good year at men's football at left back. Like, it, was, it was a bit different because normally I'd always, always through my youth career, know, trying to play centre back. But left back, I think I could do a bit more. It's a bit different, like on the ball stuff. Like towards centre half, like it's difficult in these these leagues. You just head it, kick it, that kind of thing. Whereas left back, you can show a bit more, which I feel like I may have. So it's a good, it's a good challenge, and I'm up for it. Obviously, yourself for the season. What are the kind of aims and ambitions, you know, for yourself and and for the club too? Well, first of all, I want to get a good run of games under my belt, like just to get like match fitness and get like sharp. Because obviously, I've had a year out. Like it's going to take a bit a bit longer to get into it. So myself, I just want a good run of games and see what we can do. And obviously, we, for the club, we want, we're aiming for promotion. We want promotion, so the results will come with that as long as we thought. Is there any other teams that you think we should be looking out for this year at the top of the table? Uh, I think Tram and Rovers will be good contenders. Um, Leighton Orient, obviously, they've just come down. They're going to be eager to go back up, just like we were. So other than that, I feel like if we fulfil our potential, I think we've got it. Of course. Well, cheers, Lake, for your time as always. Thank you.